Here's a misconception I come across all the time. It's a basic misunderstanding of this. At the beginning of the 20th century, a lot of great minds were mulling over hard questions. They were asking, is electromagnetism the source of inertial mass? And does energy have inertial mass? These questions led to science's most famous equation. The misconception is that in a nuclear reaction, or any reaction, energy is released by destroying mass. Einstein's equation is wrongly interpreted to mean that to create energy, mass disappears. But remember the question the great minds were asking. Einstein's answer was a resounding yes. Energy can appear in the guise of matter, or it can appear as what we traditionally call energy. We can think of matter as a highly concentrated form of latent energy. When the Sun loses mass by converting hydrogen to helium, the mass isn't destroyed. This mass released by nuclear fusion in the Sun is an essential part of the energy leaving the Sun and travelling outward through space. If we assume that since it started shining, the Sun has been losing mass at its current rate, then it will have shed about 100 Earth masses. Anton Lavoisier was famous for his experimental demonstrations and law of mass conservation. Here's his famous burning glass with sunlight focused on a piece of iron. As the metal's temperature rises, its mass rises too. The sunlight's energy increases the temperature and mass of the iron. It's a tiny mass increase because in Einstein's equation, c squared is a gargantuan number. The mass, transferred from the sun's atoms to sunlight, now adds to the mass of the iron. When the latent energy of matter becomes active energy, no mass is destroyed. It's the form and behaviour of the energy that changes. The mass of the universe does not change. <laughs>